Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Jurassic Spider The Mongol Arachne Jurassica is an extinct type of giant spider that existed millions of years ago. Only two fossilized remains have ever been found of this monstrous spider, and both of them were preserved in ash that was produced when a volcano erupted. The only reason we have evidence of such a terrifying creature is that a couple of them happened to get caught in hot ash subsequently preserving them for 165 million years. The specimen was first found in 2005 by farmers in Mongolia. At first, scientists thought they were dealing with an ancient species of orb-weaving spider, but further tests revealed the creature to be a net-casting spider. It likely made webs just like modern spiders, but it had a special silk that was more sticky, kind of like Velcro. It's highly probable that it used its giant sticky silk like a fishing net to catch its victims. The spider wasn't quite as large as the spiders of today, but it was a certifiable giant for the Jurassic period. Its body was only about an inch long, but its front legs had a reach of over two inches. It wasn't a giant tarantula, but still, it was creepy enough to make your skin crawl. Are you scared of spiders? Let me know in the comments! And now for number 9, but first, it's shout out time! I want to give a big thank you to Odin, Jode, and the Wild Tribe, and Jorge del Valle for watching and supporting Origins Explained. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the family! Number 9. Hairy Snail in a chunk of 99-million-year-old amber, scientists discovered a very strange snail. The creature was ancient and covered in tiny bristles, making it look as though it was enveloped in hair. This is the prehistoric equivalent of a woolly snail. Biologists are flabbergasted by the discovery, and they are currently trying to understand how one of the slimiest animals in the world evolved such a seemingly impossible hairstyle. The unusual snail fossil was found in Myanmar, deep in the Hukong Valley. Valley. Almost 100 million years ago, it got stuck inside a wad of sap. That sap hardened into amber and preserved the snail perfectly, allowing scientists to look at its stiff hairs all the way down to the center of the swirl on its shell. But although the woolly snail is certainly unusual, it isn't the first time such a thing has been found. There are still several snails alive today that have fuzzy shells. Paleontologist Adrian Jokum from the University of Bern says this is the sixth species of hairy snail found embedded in amber. It's hard to believe, but there are five other snails with fuzzy shells that have been found in globs of hardened sap. With a rate of discovery like that, these things must have been climbing up and down every tree in Asia, or at least every tree in Myanmar, since that's where they've all been found. But what's the deal with the hair? Scientists aren't entirely sure, but they think it may have had something to do with the transition from a watery environment to life on land. What do you think? Let me know in the comments! Number 8. The Giant Petrel Three million years ago, there was a giant petrel that terrorized the southern hemisphere. A petrel is a bird, a pretty abundant bird that can be found in places like Australia and New Zealand. These days, petrels aren't particularly large or scary, but when scientists found a preserved skull and some fossilized wing bones on New Zealand's North Island, they made a shocking discovery. There was once a massive petrel that was so big, it eviscerated seals with its sharpened, machete-like beak. The fossils were discovered in the Tangaho Formation, a place where scientists have had excellent luck in the past discovering seabird remains. Amateur fossil hunter Alastair Johnson was the first to see the skull in 2017. Researchers took the bones back to their lab and soon identified it as a new species, Macronectes tinae. The bird had a wingspan of about 5 feet across, which wasn't necessarily giant at the time, but wasn't small by any means either. The biggest difference between the prehistoric petrel and its modern relatives was that it had huge, powerful legs. It was able to easily walk around on land, whereas many ordinary petrels prefer sticking to the skies or diving in the ocean for food. Its strong legs allowed the prehistoric giant petrel to walk up and down the beach searching for carcasses. They were carrion hunters and would eviscerate anything they found on shore with their sharp beaks. Number 7. Ancient Hyenas There is an ancient species of hyena named Chasmoporthetes. 
and they were so big and frightening, they'd make their modern-day counterparts look like babies. These creatures were so large and powerful, they'd have made dire wolves look like chihuahua puppies. They had fangs designed for crushing bone. They were easily bigger than wolves, and they were proficient in taking down much larger creatures. Perhaps the biggest surprise, though, is that evidence of the killer hyenas was found in Canada's Yukon Territory. It all started with a group of paleontologists finding a pair of fossilized teeth. This was decades ago, and nobody ever studied them or published anything about them. It was only recently that scientists, including paleontologist Jack Tseng, rediscovered the teeth and decided to analyze them. They were shocked to find that the Chasmoporthetes had migrated all the way to Canada from Mongolia. Some members of this species even made their way into central Mexico. That's an incredible journey and shows just how freely animals once roamed this planet. These ancient hyenas lived from about 1.4 million to 850,000 years ago. They didn't originate in Africa either, but their ancestors likely appeared in Europe around 20 million years ago. As for how big the hyenas were, scientists aren't completely positive. They were definitely over 5 feet long and were bigger than most wolves and big cats that are around today. Number 6. The Titanic Dragonfly Long before the days of the dinosaurs, the land was ruled by giant dragonflies. From roughly 317 to 247 million years ago, giant dragonflies were some of the biggest and scariest things on the planet. They originated in the late Carboniferous and went extinct during the late Permian. Scientists call them Meganesoptera, and say they most closely resembled our modern dragonflies and damselflies. The very biggest of them all was a creature called Meganeropsis, which was first found in 1939 and was strictly based on a single wing fossil from Kansas, one that isn't even complete. There is very little evidence these creatures even existed, nothing but a few scraps of their wings left behind. And yet even with such scant evidence, scientists have been able to make some startling calculations. We know Meganeropsis ranged between around 18 and 29 inches across. That means these dragonflies may have had wingspans larger than some small birds. 29 inches is almost 3 feet, which is an obscene size for a dragonfly. As hard as it may be to believe, these dragonflies were apex predators. They were carnivores that hunted smaller insects, and they likely didn't have too many predators of their own. As for why they grew so big, scientists are fairly certain that was because of high global oxygen levels. The absurd amount of oxygen allowed land invertebrates to grow to preposterous sizes. Number 5 monster shrimp. In southeastern Morocco, a country known for its sandy deserts, scientists found the remains of a prehistoric ocean predator. No ordinary predator either, but a creepy three-foot-long shrimp. Creepy or delicious, depending on how you look at it. The specimen is currently one of the largest shrimp-like creatures ever found that dominated the seas millions of years before the dinosaurs. The creepy critter belongs to a group of animals called anomalocaridids. It looked a lot like a modern shrimp, but was a transitory animal, an evolutionary offshoot on the same line that ultimately led to modern crustaceans. But this thing was hideous with all kinds of arms and limbs sprouting from its body like a mutant land octopus, resembling a pile of twisted, melted appendages. Other anomalocaridid fossils have already been discovered, many dating back over 500 million years, and some of them growing two feet long. That might sound small, but it would have made these early crustaceans the biggest things on Earth. They lived half a billion years ago, during a time when evolution was just starting to kick off. In a world of worms, and sea squirts, these spiky monsters were titans of unimaginable proportions. But if they were titans, the newly found creature in Morocco was their king. The specimen is a foot longer than any other of its kind, meaning it was positively enormous. Derek Briggs, a co-author on the study from Yale Peabody Museum of Natural History, says it would have made enough food to feed an army for a month. It was a giant, and in Derek's own words, it was likely pretty tasty. If these monster shrimp were still around, would you want to taste one? Let us know in the comments! And while you're at it, be sure to subscribe! Number 4. The Hallucigenia 
The Hallucigenia was a prehistoric creature that lived during the Cambrian explosion 500 million years ago. It would have been in the world's oceans at the same time as the creepy crustacean we just talked about. But the Hallucigenia was more of a crazy worm than a crustacean. It was first discovered by fossil hunter Charles Doolittle Walcott in Canada in 1911. Charles would eventually become a distinguished paleontologist and the head of the Smithsonian Institute for two decades. He described the creature he found as an annelid, or a strange prehistoric worm. These creatures still exist today in the form of earthworms and leeches. The Hallucigenia was investigated more by scientists in the 1970s, which is when they described it as bizarre and having dreamlike qualities. In other words, it was a literal nightmare, even though the creature was described as a worm it was more like a caterpillar with long, gangly appendages. This thing walked along the bottom of the ocean on legs like wavy stilts. It also may have had tentacles on its back that it used to scavenge for food. If you want a more clear idea of what this thing looked like, just picture a worm with giraffe legs and octopus tentacles growing out of its back. That's essentially what we're dealing with here. Number 3. The Creepy Flamingo Monster the Pterodaustro Ginazui was a type of pterosaur, one that lived about 100 million years ago. It was a creepy flamingo monster, a predator that hunted near the deep lakes of central Argentina. It had a wingspan of 8 feet, it was ugly to look at, and it had a secret hiding in its mouth. Most pterosaurs only had a few teeth that they could use to stab prey. Either that, or they were completely toothless. There were over 150 different species of pterosaur, and many of them had unique ways of eating. But none were as unique as the creepy flamingo monster, who had roughly 1,000 sharp teeth hiding inside of its bill. Not only were its teeth long, but they were also pointed like sewing needles. It had a diet that consisted primarily of small crustaceans, mainly brine shrimp that it slurped out of the water and then trapped in its teeth like jail bars. If the prehistoric reptile bird really did have a primary diet of brine shrimp, there is a good chance the pterosaur was pink like modern flamingos. Some people aren't aware that flamingos don't get their pink color naturally, it's picked up from what they eat. The brine shrimp that flamingos consume dine on a steady supply of algae, which releases organic pigments when swallowed by flamingos. What all of this means is that the weird pterodaustro was pink like a flamingo and was as terrifying as any other flying reptile of the dinosaur age. Number 2. The Biggest Bug Ever Scientists believe they have just confirmed the biggest bug that ever existed. A fossil was discovered in 2018 of a millipede that some researchers have claimed was as big as a car. A creepy curly millipede once grew so big that people could have strapped a harness onto it and ridden it like a horse. The discovery came in the form of a piece of the giant invertebrate when a section of the creature that was almost three feet long was found in a block of sandstone in England. It was the third fossil ever discovered belonging to the prehistoric bug, which is called the Arthropleura. Even though two other fossils were already found in Germany, this one was the biggest and the oldest. Scientists were able to use the three fossils to reveal some rather disturbing information about the creature. It lived 300 and 26 million years ago and grew to be about 9 feet long. Amazingly, it weighed over 110 pounds. Scientists say the millipede likely only lived in specific areas near the equator. Even though its remains were found in Great Britain, it's important to keep in mind that land masses have moved a lot since the giant millipede was around. Great Britain once straddled the equator long before it floated up to Europe. According to the lead author of this study, Neil Davies, nobody knows why these insects grew to such immense proportions. It could have had something to do with its diet, or perhaps it was the excess oxygen in the air. There's just no way of knowing. The millipede lived for about 45 million years and then went extinct, likely alongside other giant bugs that briefly ruled the planet. Number 1. The Triassic Weirdo what happens when you mix a gorilla and a penguin? Scientists recently found out the answer by complete accident. They discovered a new species of penguin that was about the same size as a gorilla that lived 57 million years ago. They've dubbed the animal Kumimanu fortisei and say the creatures once ruled the shorelines of New Zealand. 
The discovery came as a massive surprise. Researchers found the fossilized remains stuck in a boulder sitting on the beach. The fossils proved to belong to the biggest penguin currently known to science, according to paleontologist Daniel Ksepka from the Bruce Museum in Connecticut. Based on an analysis of the skeleton, researchers found that the penguin weighed roughly 340 pounds. That's extremely impressive for a flightless bird that spent its days diving, swimming, and looking for fish. The giant penguin may not have been as adorable as some of its modern counterparts. Seeing as it was the size of a gorilla, it was likely more frightening than anything. It was a monstrous bird, one that needed to eat a significant number of fish just to avoid starvation. Thanks for watching! Which of these weird prehistoric monsters did you like learning about the most? Let us know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and come back soon! Bye!